some of our Salvadoran missionaries are, for Christ for the City are down there and they're doing the training. They're the ones in the blue shirt you can see the CI. The adults, so those two over there. Most of the kids parents are getting over here. So when they come here, uh, this is like a safe place for them? Yes. Okay. Yes, and um, and the gang members themselves say they want their kids to have a better life than they had. Wow. So that's why they send them here. Wow. And how often do they come here? Every day? Uh, three times a week. Three times a week. Yeah. yeah. And soccer is a big thing down here in El Salvador. Very big. So you can see we have very good participation in this. And this is only one of two soccer schools that we have. Mm. If we had more resources, we would open more. Going into the gang territories was a potentially unsafe situation. I recall when Barbara said that we was going to go into the gang territories. I was like, wow, this is going to be very interesting. Uh, we went to uh, this specific area and we pulled up. It was like a cul-de-sac, like a dead end. And, and we pulled up in the van. It was me, James, Barbara, Jack. Even he was out driving, and our audio person was Toto. So we pulled up and we started unloading the uh, microphones and the amplifier, and also the other audio equipment. And immediately, these gang members just came out and stood there at the end of the cul-de-sac and just looked at us. You know, with these mercenary stares, they just stared at us. So. We didn't know quite how to take that, but we know that we was there to give a message of salvation. 